This is Mustafa, and this is his son, Xavier. I'm 29 years old, and this is the second time I've ever met my father. Born in Mauritania to a Belgian mother and a Mauritanian father in 1988, he fled to Austin, Texas with his mother and three siblings when he was 11 months old. Mauritania became very dangerous for uh, white people. My mother is white. They would rock her cars in the streets, etc. Um, so she took all four of us, me and my siblings, and moved us to America to, you know, escape the danger, if you will. Meanwhile, his father got elected as senator of Mauritania and decided to stay here to help better the civil rights of the local people. The country knew a change after the president left. Dans cette transition. After the, the, the president left, the country had rough time to get its things together. More than two decades passed, and Xavier had no communication with his father. That all changed in 2010, when he took a trip here to finally meet the man who created him. It was a little weird, to be honest with you, because I didn't know him at all, but uh, throughout the trip we really bonded. When I was born, my birth name was Abdullah. Abdullah, time for lunch. Time for lunch. But when I moved to the United States, somehow it translated to Xavier. We haven't quite figured out how that happened, but we were going with it. Now, October 18th, 2018, Xavier is back together with Mustafa at his lovely house in Nouakchott, the city he was born. Coming here is always a reset button for me because it makes me appreciate how well we have it in America. You know, I grew up in America with a very small family because most of my family is here or in Belgium. So to have all these cousins around just like fills my heart um, and they're great people, I can tell. How you feeling? Feel good. A little bit extra cloth than you probably need. But... Papa, mm -hmm. what you do tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, my dad probably understands 40% of what I say and he can communicate back probably 20% of the way. You gotta wait for it to take off. Nous avons parcouru un long chemin, Papa. Je suis content que nous ayons reconnecté. But emotionally, we're very in tune. He can read my body language, I can read his facial expressions, so we actually communicate a lot more non-verbally than most people would believe. And through that we have a super strong bond. It's true father and son. This is the second time your son has visited you. How do you feel when he's here in your house? He's happy when he's here and he's sad when he leaves. What do you think about how he's grown up and he's almost 30 years old? What do you think of him as a person? My sentiment is that he's a personality better than me. He said that his personality is way much better than his. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the pleasure of staying with them because Xavier reached out and offered to host me in Mauritania. He flew all the way from his current home in Amsterdam. It's amazing to see the bond they share. I really do love my dad. Uh, you know, he's a funny guy and I really enjoy being around him. He's got a great personality. <laughs> and uh, it's just great to hang out with him. Despite spending two total weeks together over the last 28 years, it seems like time has stood still. It really is incredible to have the love of both of my parents, finally. The future is bright for the Sidats. His father and stepmother are planning to go to the U.S. for the very first time next year. This is one of the most touching stories you'll ever hear, and I'm very humbled to be able to watch it all unfold. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. So he was, he was born with both names? Somehow. Oh, you thought your name was changed when you, you didn't know that you were born. I know, well, I had no they, idea. Well, Abdullah. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so Xavier is a prophet. So yeah, it was decided when but, he was a king. Okay, so did you know that? I did not know that. Now, now I know. That's great. I so, thought my name was translated. Clearly. He was not there when they negotiated that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I just got the best smile on your dad's face. Today. Isn't that great? Oh, uh, that was great. Slow motion. That was like the best moment in the whole interview.